This is Jill Hindley about Boston, reporting from Boston College campus in Boston, Massachusetts, at the starting line of the Jimmy Fund Walk for Cancer today. There's thousands of walkers, volunteers, and sponsors that come together for this one day event today. This is Charlotte, and she's a three year volunteer. Charlotte, um, how many years did you walk it prior to your volunteer? Walked it probably 10 years. 10 years, and have you ever done the whole the, the whole 26.2, or have you usually done other distances? When I did the 10 years, when I did it for 10 years, I did the 26.2. It was a promise that when I left my last job, a bunch of us did, that we this is how we would get together and continue our relationship. So there were like six of us, and we're just going two, two, and two, and then we kept switching partners that we were walking with, and the time went by quickly. And how many hours did it take when you did it? What was your what was your best time? We would leave around seven in the morning from Hopkinton, and we get into Boston around three. But we would stop and have lunch and do potty calls and clothes adjustments and all of that. And um, so, does the Jimmy Fund have a personal meaning to you as well, raising raising funds for for Dana Farber? Yes, it's always been um, one of my causes. It's always been cancer to raise money for cancer. I have never had cancer, fortunately, but a lot of family members have. And I had a, a manager at work whose granddaughter, when seven months old, had leukemia. And um, she was in, Bo at, in Boston at Dana-Farber, and um, she's five years old right now and healthy. It's a very happy and a very sad occasion. B sad when you see you know, the children and those who have passed, but also very joyous because you can see all of the money that's being raised and the camaraderie among the people. And it's just a feel-good day, too. Yes, that's true. It's a mixed day, but like she said, a feel-good day. Well, I'm sure the Jimmy Fund appreciates your volunteering now. That after doing the walk for 10 years, she did 26.2-mile marathon route and now a three-year volunteer. Thank you, Charlotte. You're welcome. Hi, I'm here with James, and he's doing the walk today with some of his family. James, what is the meaning of today for you? Well, the meaning of today is to, to do my son's, um, he has cancer, so that's the meaning for today. Okay. This is our seventh year. We'll be, our son had cancer, uh, he's 10 years old now, but he had it when he was two, and he had the brain tumor. So since then, we've be just been trying our best to make sure that we do this work, and also, uh, he's a, an agile boy here, as so you're looking at him. Uh, he has gone through a lot, but with the mercy of God, we are still in existence. He's still in existence, so he's still here. Yeah. He's going to walk five miles today. Oh, yeah. He is always doing the five miles, and he is very strong. Don't, he never gets inside the car. He wants to do the walk alone. Yeah. yeah. He's been uh, at Dana-Farber for about five years, you said, being treated? Yes. Yeah, we started from Mass General Hospital. That was where he was uh, diagnosed, had his surgery then transferred to Dana Faber. So we've been at Dana Faber for years now. Okay. Well, I'm impressed that you're going to walk the five miles again because yes. that's, that's, pretty, that's pretty good for seven years old, Four right? Years. Yeah. So, well, good. Well, it's so great that you come out every year and do yes. this. Anything thing. we can do to um, raise, even if it's a dime, to help to find cure for cancer, we are very anxious to to make sure that things like that do happen and we know quite all right it's going to happen. Yes, there sure. must be a cure for cancer. Yeah, have to yes. be a cure for cancer. It will be a cure for cancer. And hopefully in our lifetime yes. and or in, in yes. their lifetime. Yes. Absolutely. The Jimmy Fund was named after a young 12-year-old boy. His name was Einar Gustafsson. This goes back to 1948. He was being treated by Dr. Sidney Farber, who was a uh, cancer doctor at the time. And this boy ended up meeting some of the Boston Red Sox players at the time. And he was on a radio broadcast. They dubbed him Jimmy to protect his privacy at the time. And they had him on this radio broadcast to kind of draw attention to cancer and cancer treatment. The donations just started to pour in right away. And thus, that is what began the Jimmy Fund. And it's very inspiring to talk to the different people and why they're here and what their connection is. Hi, I'm here with two more walkers. And your name is? Linda. Steve. Okay, and Linda and Steve, how many years have you done the walk? This is our first walk. Yep, okay. yeah. Awesome. So you're doing five miles today. And are you doing it in honor of someone or raising money, you know, besides just generally raising money? Um, we're doing it to raise money and we're also doing it for our friend who is um, fighting cancer today. So.
and the rest of our team will be here shortly. Oh, okay. yeah. you're still waiting for, so you're all, are you all wearing um, a certain thing to, to identify yourself as a team? We actually have, our team name is um, Team Scott. So there's 12 of us that are walking, so we're really excited. Yeah. So. Great Scott. That's, yeah. that's great Scott. The gentleman we're raising money for, his name, he's a wonderful man. His name is Scott Sawyer. Okay. Yeah. Oh, well, great. Thanks for the interview, and uh, good luck today. We're here with Kathy. Kathy, um, how many years have you volunteered for the I've been doing this? This is my third year. Okay, great. And you have to get up early and get over here, I guess, so not you're ready. Too bad. Not too bad. Where are you coming from? Maynard. Oh, okay. That's not bad. And um, you ha have you done the walk before yourself? No, I haven't done any of the walking. Um, now, is Dana Farber or the Jimmy Fund have a personal connection for you? Well, I have had cancer. And so, and so you're doing it in sort of to raise funds and kind of give back then? Right, exactly. Were you treated at Dana-Farber? No, I wasn't. Okay. But that doesn't matter. No, it doesn't. You're right. In the big picture, not at all. I know some people feel very passionate about Dana-Farber, um, you know, in giving back it's to specifically. Place. But, yeah. And they do wonderful things. Yeah. Well, look at all these people. It's great. Well, thank you for volunteering and thank you for um, your time today well, and enjoy it. My okay. pleasure. We talked to a group um, uh, that was walking in honor or in honor of a little girl named Jessica and they named themselves Jessica's Twinkling Stars and she's a five-year-old girl with leukemia. She's been being treated for about two years and is finishing up. Uh, in December and she's walking five miles today with a group of over a hundred people and being able to meet her and her best friend and and her mom it was just uh, such a such an inspiring moment for me well we're walking because we really want to pay it forward to the Jimmy Fund and thank them for the amazing care they've given my daughter Jessica Jessica's finishing up her two-year leukemia program in December, and we are so proud of her, and I'm very proud of her good friend, Ellie Stevenson. Jessica and Ellie are in school together, and they um, started the team. It's Jessica's Twinkling Stars. They designed the shirts, and they helped get all their classmates interested in coming. So we have one of the biggest teams here, thanks to these girls. And this is um, my, uh, my co-captain, Jane Stevenson. James, would you like to say something? We have um, about maybe 50 children from our community and our school walking in support of Jessica. And we are so thrilled to do that because those of us who just love Jesse to pieces can't do enough to thank this hospital for the care that they've given her. Dana Farber is amazing. I, I can't imagine we wouldn't walk this the rest of our lives. I bet. And are some of them do all doing the five mile portion or are they doing different distances? Yeah, my family's going to meet us at the two mile mark okay. where Jessica's <laughs> yeah. poster is going to be. Jessica's also a hero for the walk today. So her poster's up there to inspire people to the finish line and to tell them you can do it, you know, because she can do it. We can all do it, right? Yeah together and you're doing it right now you're doing it every day right well the hats are absolutely adorable the best the best fashion statement I've seen <laughs> and if you notice the stars around your neck so it's Jessica's twinkling stars okay well congratulations on finishing up the last couple months of your treatment we wish you the very best and what an inspiring story I want to go home and tell my kids about it thank you yes thank you so thank much. you we'll see you out there okay good luck <laughs> Um, we also talked to a group from Melrose High School in their walking in honor of their friend that passed away in 2008. Their group is called Melrose for Danny, and Danny's been gone uh, for a couple years, but they have a group every year that comes and walks and, and gives back to Dana Farber, as, as, as uh, Jessica's mom said, paying it forward. This is Jared from Melrose High School, and he's got a whole group, there's a whole group of students here from Melrose, and Jared's gonna tell us a little bit about why they're here. So, um, in 2008, a friend of ours uh, who went to Melrose High School, Dan Williams, he passed away from, uh, he had cancer, and uh, we're all here he, to support him. We're the last class to go through the high school when he was here. Um, and there's a lot of younger kids here and stuff like that. A lot of the kids from his class uh, who graduated are here as well. It's kind of just to support him and his family. And um, we're just happy to be here and, and to walk for him and everyone else who, who's had to deal with this type of thing and stuff like that. So Is this the biggest group you've ever had walking no, uh, this year? The, the first year, the first year we had, I mean, we had a really, real big. And um, obviously, as his uh, friends and stuff have gone off to college, we've gotten less kids. But... Um, 
it's it's still nice though to be here and have everyone else here. So. Absolutely. I mean, to honor, you know, to keep this going and to kind of, as someone said earlier, to pay it forward in terms of raising money because you yeah. each raised an individual yeah, amount, yeah, right, yeah, or we, a team amount. Yeah we, yeah, we donated as a team, so yeah, okay. it was nice. Yeah. And how many today, approximately? How many walkers in your group? Um, well, we 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 um, we hope for about 80, but there might be a little bit less than than we hope for today, but. Well, yeah. anywhere near 80 yeah, is excellent. Near, yeah. It's nice. Yeah, it's nice just to be here and support the cause and stuff like that. So, right. yeah. So. Well, it's nice to honor Danny. So I, I mean, it's so nice. It's such a, it's a, such a, touching uh, to see all the people here and right, to see yeah. such a big group from Melrose. So thank you very yeah, much and you. good yeah. luck today. Yeah. Thank you. So we were able to not only talk to the group of kids from Melrose High School, but we, I also met um, Danny's mom. And she was. She mentioned that he was actually on the Jimmy Fun Telethon. He was do, helping to raise funds when he was still alive. And it was just again a very inspiring, um, heartwarming kind of event today. And the walkers have headed off, and they're on their way the five miles down to the finish line on Boylston Street. And now the volunteers are kind of wrapping up the starting line here. So all in all, an amazing cause for Dana Farber uh, raising millions of dollars for for the cancer research and the patient care and I'm so glad to have been a part of it today reporting from Boston College this is Jill Hindley about Boston